I have been taking Vital Protein's collagen peptides, as well as a couple other collagen supplements, for every single day now for just over a year. It's been about a year and three months, maybe a year and four months, and today I want to share with you my results. This video is going to be three parts. The first part, I'm going to answer some questions. I made a video very similar to this at the six-month mark. A lot of questions came up, and there were a few that came up repetitively, so I'm going to answer a few of those today. Part two, I'm going to share with you my results over the last just over a year of taking this consistently consistently every day. And part three, I'm going to share with you other people's results that they've shared with me, so you're not just hearing it from me. Okay, let's jump into part one, the questions. A lot of these questions came up repetitively. The first question is, which one are you taking? And even though I mentioned I've been taking vital proteins, collagen peptides, that question comes up. But, but I understand we're all moving really fast, we're clicking through things, and you know, sometimes it, it's just, we just don't get it all, right? So be very clear, most of the time, in the last 15 months or so, I've been taking vital proteins, collagen peptides, their natural unflavored version. I've also been taking their chocolate version, the vital proteins, collagen peptides, chocolate version. So the majority of the time, these are the ones that I've been taking. I have also taken the uh, Ancient Nutrition Multi-Collagen Protein. Ah, that was probably like two months out of the last 15. And I have also taken Wholesome Wellness Multi-Collagen. That was probably, I think, about a month. And I have review videos on all of these on this channel if you want to check them out. And I'll link them in the description below. Again, for the majority of the time, probably 11 months out of the last 15, have, has been vital proteins, collagen, peptides. Question number two, how much have you been taking? I've just been following the uh, directions on the container, so whatever the container says. Now, if we look at this, um, the natural flavored version, the collagen peptides, the directions say one to two scoops. The serving size, when we look at the nutritional facts, it says the serving is, one serving is two scoops. So I've been taking two scoops of this whenever I take this. The chocolate flavored version, it, the serving size is two scoops and the directions say take two scoops, so I've been doing that. I think Ancient Nutrition, they say one scoop, and that's what I did when I took Ancient Nutrition. I can't remember what Wholesome Wellness was. Either way, to answer that question, how much do you take? I just follow the directions on the container. The next question is, when do you take it? We have to understand that this is protein. It's a protein powder. Think of it as food. So you can take it pretty much anytime you want. I don't know that there's going to be one time of the day that's that's significantly better than another time of the day. You could take it with an empty stomach. You can take it with food. You could take it in the morning, take it in the afternoon, take it at night, whatever works best for you. I personally take it in the morning. That's what's been working for me. I enjoy taking it in the morning. It doesn't really matter when you take it, except for when we get to the next question, will it break a fast? And the answer is yes, it will break a fast. If you take two scoops of this, it's about 70 calories. We also have to re remember that it's lean protein and lean protein will break a fast. The chocolate version is, uh, each serving is 90 calories. So, and of course it's lean protein as well and it will break a fast. So if you're taking collagen supplement and you're doing intermittent fasting, you wanna make sure that you're either doing it at the beginning of your fast or at the end of your fast and or during your eating window, but not during your fast because it will break a fast. Now, if you're doing keto, now these don't, they don't have sugar and they don't have carbs and everything. So from that standpoint, you can be, take this on a ketogenic diet. If you're, if you're following a ketogenic lifestyle, you can take it. I would recommend adding a little bit of fat when you do. Like for example, if I'm using this chocolate version, I keep reaching for this, I will make like a hot chocolate and I will add a little heavy cream. And you know, I, I, the, the, the heavy cream will dampen the insulin effect that the lean protein might have. So just, just a tip, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I've been doing it this whole time, so I might as well mention that as well. Okay, the next question. This one has come up actually a couple of times. Is this a paid promotion? The answer is no. I, I mean, I am just this tiny little YouTuber, right? I, I, this little YouTube guy, I have a handful of subscribers. If you're one of them, thank you so much. If you're not, maybe you'll consider joining me. That would be awesome. None of these companies know who I am. None of them have contacted me. I just, you know, was thinking about taking it one day and I thought I would try it. I've had a good experience, so I thought I wanted to share it with everyone. So I decided to make a video. All right, that does it for part one. Let's go to part two. 
the results. So over the last year, I've noticed a few things. And there are some of these things I noticed back at the six month mark, and we're gonna talk about those today. The first one being fingernails. <laughs> that was the first thing that I kind of really tangibly noticed was my fingernails were growing super, super fast. I mentioned that at the six month mark, that has not changed. I was trying to quantify, yeah, even right now I'm looking at them, they need to be cut. You probably can't see that, but yeah, they're just getting really too long. I need to cut them today. So I've noticed that I have to cut my fingernails every single week. And that is very tangible evidence that this supplement is de definitely making a difference. My fingernails are super, super strong. They grow really fast. They're very healthy. And I don't know, I guess they look pretty cool. To me, it's annoying because I gotta cut them all the time. I was trying to quantify, uh, you know, how, how much faster are they really growing? Easily three times faster. So if fingernails are important to you, you may wanna consider taking a collagen supplement and see if it makes a difference. The next thing I noticed was my hair. And I mentioned this at the six month mark. I went to the, to get my hair cut, the person they go to very regularly. And for the first time he started saying, wow, your hair is growing really fast. What are you doing? He actually said that, right? And that, that has not changed. My hair continues to grow. And I wanna say probably easily twice as fast as it used to. I, I have to go to the hair, get a haircut every month at least. And maybe that's normal for most people. But for me, previously it would be probably every once every two months, somewhere around there. It grows crazy. I gotta go get a haircut right now. The one thing that I did mention at six months was I was wondering, I wonder if collagen will slow down my hair loss because I'm, I'm losing my hair. It is falling out. I am fighting an uphill genetic battle, right? All of my brothers, I have three brothers, all of them are bald. My older brother, two years older than me, bald. My younger brother, two years younger than me, bald. Our youngest brother, seven years younger than me, bald. He, he lost his hair at age 28. So I'm next on the list, right? And it is falling out. You can see it's all thin up in here. You can see already, <laughs> if you could see that, that you know, bald spot right there. It does weigh on me, right? Uh, but that said, I'm 51, I still have hair a little bit anyways, and all of my, none of my brothers do. Oh, one thing, you know, people ask, is it make your hair thicker? And you'll see when we get to, you know, other people's results that many people say that it does. I don't know that I've noticed that. Now, again, it's hard to tell. My, as my hair is falling out, my hair has always been very, very fine, like very, very thin, the strands themselves. I don't know if they're getting thicker. I don't think they are. So. If anyone's wondering that, that's been my experience. So that brings us to skin. So I don't have awesome skin. I, 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 I've never been accused of having, wow, your skin is so amazing. I just, it's just not me, right? I, my, I spend a lot of time in the sun. I mentioned that before. It looks like I spend a lot of time in the sun. I've got wrinkles everywhere. I've got this big old brown spot on my forehead. I've got moles and everything. Um, yeah, just not, you know, poster worthy material. However, I, I do feel like there's been a difference, very slight difference. You know, some people say, oh, you look way better than you did a year ago. And I hope that's true. I think that's true. I personally notice a subtle difference when I look in the mirror each day. So it's hard because sometimes I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, all I can see are the wrinkles. Like, man, you're looking old. But I will say that I feel like my skin is a little tighter. I feel like my skin is less oily and I feel like the wrinkles are becoming a little less deep. And that's very subjective, but I didn't start taking collagen because I wanted my skin to look better because I thought it would make me look like I was in my 20s. But I do think it has made a little bit of a difference. And if that's important to you, you're gonna hear about some other people at the, towards the end of this video in part three where they, they, they've had a much more significant uh, uh, effect on their skin. All right, so here's the one that I really wanted to talk with you about, the whole reason Reason I wanted to take collagen to begin with. One, I'm getting older, and two, you know, I do a lot of uh, trail running over very difficult, very rocky terrain. A lot of times, you know, you'll feel some pain in your knees, pain in your joints. Going keto, I have to say, going keto reduced that almost to zero. <laughs> It's amazing. But still, I wanted to know, could I take it a step further? I'm getting older, you know, my joints are uh, certainly getting older right along with me. So I thought maybe if I took some collagen, it could take it up just another level, right? And I've, I'm happy to report that it has. And I noticed that in a big way on a training run earlier this year. One thing I wanna add is I'm running down this very rocky terrain. So that my knees and joints feel really good. I've been out here for several hours now. Over the last several months, like eight months, I've been taking a collagen supplement every single day because I thought it would help with my joints. Oh man, I just realized today the significant impact that it has had. I'm, I'm very, actually very happy. I knew it was helping. 
I am running. I'm feeling awesome. My knees feel great. And that is so cool. And I can, I can uh, directly link it to, to that because that's the one thing I've changed. Hey, if you're liking today's video, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. All right, so the whole reason I wanted to take collagen to begin with, right? I saw this supplement, I wanted to take it. Is it gonna work? And I'm very happy that for me, it has. It's been making a difference. So for that reason, I'm gonna continue to take vital proteins, collagen peptides, on a regular basis. Maybe one day I'll try a different one. Maybe one day I'll switch it out, try something new and switch to that on a regular basis. But for now, it's gonna be vital proteins, collagen peptides every day moving forward. Because I'm very, very happy with the results. Okay, that does it for part two. Let's get on to part three, other people's results. So this last video, the, the last, um, that little clip that I showed you of running, I posted that, that was from a video on my other channel. It's a live true with JT. I do uh, chronicling or, or documenting my training for the Grand Canyon, going to the Grand Canyon, doing the running, stuff like that. Right after I posted that, Matthew Wall mentioned, I also have been supplementing collagen and similar results. Last year, I hiked with knee braces and no longer knee Need them. Even ran a marathon this last January without them. That's pretty awesome. Leonard Hollerback says, me and my wife are doing a strict form of paleo. At the same time, we took two scoops of natural flavored vital proteins, 11 months strong. I feel it helps with our skin. We are hoping since we both lost a lot of weight that it helps bounce back the skin and we feel it is. My hair is growing wild. Next we have Lisa Aberdeen Nicholas. Hi everyone. I am 53 and have been taking this for three months now. The first thing I noticed in about two weeks is that my skin is more moisturized and softer. And today I can say that my joint pain has been considerably reduced. It really works. Shelly Husky says, I've been taking collagen off and on for a few years and it does make a difference. Recently I realized that my fingernails were breaking and splitting like when I was younger and I had uh, not been taking it for a while. I had run out of it and never replaced it. So I added it back to my daily regime. It improves my skin's appearance too. Nancy Watkins says, I am 56 and have been adding about half a scoop to my protein powder shakes each morning for a year. With that amount, I have noticed several benefits. My hair is a little thicker and grows faster. Okay, so she has experienced her hair getting thin or thicker, right? Whereas I have, don't think I have. My skin isn't as dry and I've noticed fine lines on my face are less noticeable. Have recommend this to several friends. I hope it's adding strength to my bones as I age. I feel like my joints are less achy after walks. That's awesome, Nancy. Anna Geisenhoff. Anna, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Geisenhoff. I have also been taking this for a while and have noticed my thin hair and fingernails growing and looking better. My skin is looking better as well. I too was a sun worshiper in my younger days and people are always surprised to hear that I have children that are in my that are around 30 years old. I'm 54. Philip JC1 says I've been taking it for over a year. He's talking about vital proteins. No improvement in anything. Change to ancient nutrition now seeing results in gut and joints. It does if it doesn't work for you change to something else. Experiment. So one thing I want to point out there on Philip's comment is that ancient nutrition collagen is a multi-collagen protein. So there are different types of collagen. That's why he's probably noticing the improvement in his gut. I think that's awesome. So again, like he says, hey, if it doesn't work for you, maybe try something else. There's a, it's, there's a lot that goes into how well your body uses collagen, which is beyond the scope of this video, but um, it's important to, re to remember. Kristen Rigby, I take both of these too. She's talking about the chocolate and the unflavored version of vital proteins. I used to run ultra marathons too. I don't run at all anymore. I weight lift and rock climb now. I started doing keto before my first 100K. As a climber, I noticed my fingernails growing fast with the collagen and my hairdresser frequently comments on how fast my hair grows. I have beautiful hair now. That's awesome. Ben Lehman says, I can put my recommendation in the ring too. I'm a 38 year old power lifter and I was starting to notice my body not agreeing with me anymore. My knee clicked, my hips were so tight, I was walking like John Wayne and my lower back was in permanent pain. I've been adding a tablespoon in my regular shakes for a few months and all pain has gone away. That's awesome. I was dubious when it was first suggested to me, but it's incredible. See, just like me, I was a little skeptical and he kind of felt the same way, but then, but now his experience has been similar. It's incredible. That's awesome. In addition, like one of your videos, I had a small cyst in my eyebrow. It has also completely gone. So somebody else commented that they had a cyst uh, and had been there for years and they started taking collagen and it went away. 
Wow, that's pretty cool. And that's what he's talking about. Barbed Wire B says, I noticed nothing. My hair won't grow. My nails don't. My skin has always been good. Joint pain I have noticed, but that's all. So she hasn't noticed the other things like the skin, the nails, and the hair, but she has noticed her joint pain reducing. And again, this points out that everybody has a different experience. We're all eating different things. We all have different habits. So we're, when we make a habit change, when we decide to do something new, we're going to have our experience will be varied. Miss Muller says, Hi, I have been taking vital protein collagen for one year and six months. Huge difference with my joints, my skin and wrinkles around my eyes and upper lips. I am 43 years old. I have also noticed a difference with my energy. Great product. Krista Nicoli says, I have been taking vital proteins, collagen peptides for probably four to five months now. I just turned 25 in January and I love it. I did not pay attention to results, just took it. I noticed my hair and nails grow much faster. My hair and nails grew good before, but faster now. My nails are stronger. I feel like my skin is glowing a little bit. Mary Golden. I have been taking this for two years. I love this. It is great. I agree 200%. So that does it for part three. And if you're interested in collagen, you may be interested in finding out ways how you can reduce inflammation. And for that, you want to check out this video right over here.